This is a 3500 kV Valenia motor by Traxxas, and we're about to push it well beyond 3S. Here we go. Traxxas slash ultimate. I may have killed the speaker control. This is a Traxxas Slash Ultimate. Now when you buy these things, they come with the VXL 3S system in it, which are great because I took one of these, threw some tires on it and a small little roll cage and I hit 80 miles an hour. Check this out. The went, stop, read. 80. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that was pretty hard to get to. Uh, the car would only make one or two passes before overheating. I never really had a problem with the motor. Now it was the ESC. The ESC kept overheating, it kept shutting the car down. The motor would get hot, but it wouldn't get too hot. I felt like the ESC would just get hotter than the motor would. Sometimes the motor would be kind of cool, ESC shut right off. So the limitation for that motor, as what I found, is to be the ESC. If I change the ESC out, how much faster can I go? So that's what we're gonna do today. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Leroy. Whoa, guys, this is Leroy. It is a custom slash four x four, which I have named Leroy custom cage. It is spotting the 3500 Valenium KV motor by Traxxas. It's running a max six. It also has custom billet connectors. This is the chassis that we're gonna try to go faster in. It is a little bit heavier. It's definitely more stable than the regular slash chassis. Let's go ahead and give you guys a closer look. It has the 3500 KV motor. It's running a max six. I built these bullet connectors, which is it's basically pretty odd, but they work. I braided it up. But before we try to max this motor out, seeing how fast it really goes, we're gonna try to hit over 80 miles an hour on 3S. And once we achieve that, we're gonna throw 4S, 6S, 8S. We are gonna push this motor till it blows. <laughs> See you guys out there. That location, this is where Leroy hit 80 miles an hour before on 3S, but Leroy was a lot lighter. This car weighs eight pounds without a battery. There's no arrow. Well, the only arrow kind of, I guess you can say, is the rims. Now, it's not as light as a Bandit or a Rustler or even a Traxxas Vortec. What do you mean by that? So this car is heavy. What we're gonna do is we're gonna give it a warm-up test pass on a cheap battery. Track, start. Go ahead, hook this up. All right, here we go. Bring it back, see what it did. Okay. See how hot the motor is? Oh, the motor's not bad at all. All right, stop. Read 74 miles an hour. That's good. And the car, it's geared down. So 74. Should I up the gearing? Should I up the gearing? Uh, you know what? Let me give it one more test run. Now I'm going to want to have to check all the bolts, see if I tighten down anything else that comes loose. Okay, now it's a little hot. Let's check to see if it went any faster. Stop. Read 75. Okay, went one more miles per hour faster. I think I'm gonna gear it up. Yeah, I'm gonna gear it up a little bit. I'm gonna go two teeth taller on it. So right now we're cooling down the motor. Then we are gonna jump it up to a 24 tooth, which is still being conservative. Now everybody knows I use aluminum gears. So we're going from a 20 tooth pinion to a 24 pinion. Should be a little faster. Maybe pick up a mile or two, maybe three. And just to let you guys know, my ESC is turned all the way down. Punch is turned all the way down as far as it will go. I probably would go faster with foam tires. Got everything in, everything is looking good. Track, start. Okay, so we are running 4S in here. Cut. Let's see. Stop. Read. 
80 miles an hour. Faster. Yeah, it's faster, but I think I want to gear it down. How's the motor? Uh, it's not too bad. Let me go ahead and start cooling it down. So the motor did 80, I'm sorry. So the car did 80 miles an hour so far on 4S, which it's a heavy car. It's eight pounds without the batteries. So we ditched the 4S. Now we're going straight to 6S. 6S, I'm going to find out if I have to gear it up or gear it down. Start. Oh, tons more power. Oh, I could definitely give it more. I just don't have, I don't have enough runway. I was not even full throttle yet. Let's see. Okay, now the motor's hot. Let's see what the car did. Stop, read, 94 miles an hour on 6S. I think I can go a little faster. I might have to go a little longer. Yeah, I'm gonna try to. I don't think I have the runway for it. Well, let's cool the motor down and then give it another shot. I moved the truck up a little bit far as I can go to get just a little more stretch out of it. So we're gonna hit it, track, read, start, I mean. Cut, cut on me. Definitely faster than 94 miles an hour. Okay. Ready? Stop. Read. 101 miles an hour. Is it hot? That's eh, all right. Let's go ahead and put the fans on it. And then we're going to 8S. All right, so we're taking out the 6S. I mean, I know the car could go faster if we geared it up. You guys want to see a gear that I've been dying to use? My own custom billet gear. It's just a 34 tooth. I copied it off the Power Hobby. It's extremely light, less than half of the weight of the steel one. I know if I threw this in here, but there's just no runway. There's just not enough. And I know, I know on 6S, this would easily be 120 possibly on this motor. I mean, that's just all talk until it actually happens. So we're gonna throw an 8S in here. Yes, the first 8S with the Valenium 3500 KV motor. Can I get a more power, baby? A more power, baby! Testify! A more power, baby! No. And I wonder if it's gonna hold up or it might go up in smokes. And yes, it will fit. Nope, the straps won't work, so the straps are gonna have to be dangling. All right, guys, 8S on the Valenium 3500 KV motor. Has it been done before? No, not far as I know. If it ain't on video, it never happened. All right, track, start. I'm nervous about this one. I am nervous, but it is. Oh, hey. okay that's why the chassis is freaking bulletproof yeah just broke a shock right there look at that she's got to go buy a new piston for it or a new piston shaft battery is still in the car fast you think it went <laughs> that was Straight really off. fast it's definitely faster than the last one <laughs> let's see no i don't think it was i i think it started losing control stop read 94 miles an hour. And I was just, I was literally just starting to get into it. The motor, the motor's all right. That's gonna be another video. So I'm pretty sure I'm the only person who's stuck at 8S on a Valenium 3500 KV motor. And it's gonna go faster. It might even just go faster on 6S. Freaking mosquitoes out here. But that would make this the fastest slash four by four that has gone 101 miles an hour with the stock Valenian motor that came with the vehicle. So that's the end of the video guys. Please like and subscribe. There'll be more videos coming. Give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. You guys know what that means. It's over.